Hi, welcome. I've had a few subscribers asking me how I do my telemetry overlay videos. So I figured today we're gonna try and uh, try and show you guys. What I do once I'm done flying, I of course put my GoPro video over on the desktop. Video and subtitle file from my DJI goggles, I put that in the same folder. As you can see here, my video is four by three. Sometimes it's eight by seven, really depends on if it's on my GoPro 11, my 10, or my 9. First thing I do, I open this one up in uh, GoPro Player. And you need to uh, fix your advanced settings. We of course want 16 by 9. So I usually put my smoothness at 1, cropping speed at 100. Lens correction really depends. 100 is usually fine. 16 by 9 apply okay so we're not gonna do the whole video we're gonna start here just do a small crop let's do a couple of minutes there we go export trim now we have a few settings if if you want to use this clip and you want this clip to include the telemetry that you need for telemetry overlay we need to use h264 because then you can have the option up here, retain GPMF data. That's ideal for GPS telemetry and uh, not available for ProRes. And uh, export. We're just going to put this one on desktop. Stars go test and save. So now we just have to wait for the export. It's just one minute, so it shouldn't take too long. Five minutes later. Okay, we're done. So uh, let's just close down GoPro player and let's open up uh, telemetry overlay. So load video files, RS go test, and it's gonna optimize the file. What this does is basically make it faster to, uh, to browse through the video as you go and you get to see the whole video when, while you're editing it. So just let it do its thing. Might take a little while, but uh, it'll be worth it. So just just leave that be. A few minutes later. So once uh, you have imported the video file, it goes straight into gauges. So you can add, and uh, I think this is like a default setting. I, I don't think I've ever used it, but I'm gonna go back to telemetry. Currently loaded, we have the GoPro Hero 9 Black, real steady go. We're gonna add telemetry files because I want that uh, subtitle file. Bring in this one, reapply. No, we're gonna add our own. So patterns, you can customize the patterns. You can choose whatever you like. We can, uh, well, we can go and just take like a basic, like this. We can, uh, there's one for aviation. It's pretty cool. Get like a map and bearings and everything like that. Digital. So there's a whole lot of patterns you can use. Uh, if you modify some, you can save it. I'm gonna load one of the ones I've saved before. Let's do this one. So this will probably look familiar if you've uh, seen my videos before. We have like a speed, we have distance from home point, we have total distance traveled, we have our voltage from our drone, we have our megabits per second from our drone, the signal strength, we have our map, like our GPS path, we have degrees heading, we have flight time, Height above ocean. Height we have gained or lost during our flight. Also a G centimeter. And this is just our camera settings down in the left corner. So what I usually do first is try and sync my subtitle file from the drone with the GoPro footage. Uh, the best way to do this is you see the voltage down in the right corner. Once the voltage drops, it's usually when I take off. 
26 seconds and the video start going at six seconds so say like a 19 second delay so we're going to go to sync telemetry uh, source to sync we're going to sync this one and offset it by 19 second oh positive we we want negative ah there we go so as we play back now Yep, we're gonna add a couple of more seconds. Let's see again. That looks fine. If you want to modify, like how do you make this screen? You need to either edit gauges or you need to add gauges. So these gauges down here, they're basically custom gauges. Add gauge custom custom digital yes so you, what you want to do for this one is you need to figure out what data do you want for this gauge so for the bitrate you obviously use bitrate this is from the DJI goggles single value that's fine create and you get this it basically goes from the lowest lowest value that you have to the highest value and from this short video it didn't very much it stayed like 50 51 megabits all the time but we want to show the whole range so you can go down and edit this one we have max minimum maximum fine we can have that one at 51 and minimum we want yeah basically zero a little bit big we're gonna make it smaller oh that's just the text we're gonna make the whole thing smaller zero eight and you see like you obviously want the strongest signal to be green so we're just gonna change this one to red And we're going to change this one to green. There we go. Much better. And you basically do the same thing for the voltage. See here, UAV bat is the source. So I'm not going to add that one, but what you can do is go into this one that's already here. There we go, zero to 50. So if we're looking at the gauges now and you want to recreate something like this, like what I've been using for these is uh, a lot of the miniature gauges. We're gonna go to add gauges and we have minimal, minimal gauges. I'm using the custom mini, distance home, accelerator mini. So yes, add repeated gauge, but it's real simple. It's it's, it's really simple to just add these ones. So you, you see most of the dials that I have used is already here. So you just add the gauge, place it where you want, adjust it for size. You can choose a different color for your icon, different color for your text. can even add more decimals you can remove the units big icon small text so there's there's a lot of different things you can do and I like that I really like that but sometimes I think it could be more options like I would like to edit the fonts like the style that the text have. Like here, these are really sharp. Here you have like a glow to the text and I really want to be able to edit that. Also this one, I couldn't, f I couldn't figure out how to put voltage so I just had to put some text and put that underneath because I think the standard one for units, yeah. See there's an A, like amperage, I don't know. 
I, I didn't want it to be an A, it's just confusing. So I removed the A and I added a static title and put that underneath. So yeah, makes more sense. And uh, yeah, you have some settings up here. This is just a grid, how, how this just helps you with placing stuff. So you don't need a grid. I think it's really helpful when I try to place out where they're going to be like this is center and yeah, you can use the edges too, but I really find uh, the grid helpful. Metric Imperial uh, gauge update rate is what I was talking about. You can have full half quarter or eighth. I think half is fine. I don't need a full resolution. Another thing you can do if you have your gauges, just go crazy like up down up down and you don't really need that you can smooth them out just using the smoothing so if you smooth them out too much there's not going to be a whole lot of uh, movement so just be careful about this one but if it jitters you can try the smoothing and see if it evens out gets a bit better so don't overdo it but just smooth it enough so it doesn't make unnecessary jumps so yeah telemetry overlay it's a really nice program it's it's kind of easy to understand once you uh you've used it a bit like here you can have uh like a satellite map if you want change things up you can change the color of the path color of the gauge that should probably be a, be a bit darker like that, so which is fine now. Maybe if you do some tricks, you're facing down, you need like a, a lighter one. So once everything's set, you've added the gauges you want. You should go down to patterns, save pattern, and just save this one because you may want to use it again. And if it's not going to be exactly the same, at least you have a good um, a good starting point for your next gauges. So always, always save. So what we do next is we go to export and uh, format. I really like to do a transparent video because that way I can put the transparent video on top of my real steady go video. And then you can put another like layer on top of the video and you edit the video and that way you don't mess up the colors or anything like that on the gauges so you put the gauges on top then you have an adjustment layer and then you have the video on the bottom progress i don't need audio for this one i'm gonna add that later and we're just gonna add this to the desktop as well then you just export and this might take a while. Five hours later. Export done. So you can open, go back, close down. The next thing I'm gonna do is put it into my editing program and start editing. Okay, so this is our real steady go test footage. And this is our real steady go telemetry overlay footage. And as you see, this is transparent so we can put it on top if you if you really don't want to edit the video like edit colors color grading stuff like that you can just hard encode the telemetry into the video so when you export it you basically get this video with the telemetry on top already done so you can just upload it straight to YouTube okay so I'm just gonna show you quick how I do it in Final Cut so I'm going to take my real steady go test footage. Okie doke. So we have that one here. Then we're going to take our telemetry footage on top. So there you have it. And this is the reason I like to put uh, telemetry in its own file because I have an adjustment layer here. So when I activate it, it just, uh, it doesn't affect the telemetry overlay, it just affects the video underneath. From here, you can go in, maybe put a 
the goggle footage on top. Try and sync, sync that one up. Scale it down. Let's just move it around. So I, I hope this was helpful. This program is really good. The only downside I see to telemetry overlay is the price. The price and I think it misses a couple of functions like editing fonts, text, stuff like that. But uh, the creator is really active. He answers all the questions you have on his Facebook group. He, uh, he updates the program a lot so I I really think it's money well spent if you have it. If not, I know there's a couple of free options out there. I was reading about them and uh, I, I tried to use a few of them, but it didn't really meet my expectations. So I went with a paid option, Telemetry Overlay. I think they have a trial. You should definitely check that out if they do, because it's uh, is a really nice program. It's easy to use and it works instantly with all newer GoPros. And uh, yeah, you can even even import telemetry data from other things like DJI goggles. And uh, it just works really good. So yeah, you should try it out. Please post your uh, video with the telemetry overlay in the comments if you make one. I'd really like to see what you guys make. So yeah. Have fun creating.